St. Paul's Western District Police Station was built with energy efficiency and green design in mind. Those efforts were recognized as the station was awarded a Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design Green Building Rating. City planners worked with XL Energy's Energy Design Assistance Program to create a building 48% more efficient than standard architecture. XL's free consulting service has worked with over 250 businesses in the last 15 years. The result? Thousands saved on future energy costs. Flannery Construction and the White Group worked with the city to achieve the Green Building's LEED status. A lot of what Green Building is is quality and it's not necessarily having solar panels or alternative energy. A lot of it really does have to do with quality construction and buildings that are healthy. Um, and so that's something that we've been involved with for since the inception. Um, green has become more of a more of a trend, more of a um, more popular as of late. So people are starting to ask for it more. But it is something that we've always tried to incorporate into our projects. The building features high efficiency lighting and the use of solar tubes, occupancy sensors that adjust the comfort to the amount of people in the room, high efficiency in floor heating, and a 13% use of recycled materials. In terms of cost of building materials, we had a 4% increase in upfront construction costs and we have a 7.2 year payback. This building is 48% more energy efficient than traditional um, commercial construction. It, it will save about $34,000 a year for the police station and hence the taxpayers. So after that seven year period, we are, the police plan to occupy this building for the next 62 years, something along those lines. So they will be here for a long time. And if you look at the entire building, you have to start looking at the entire life of the building and the amount of money that's going to have to go into operations and maintenance, which is where the bulk of your money is going to go. So it does, while there is an increase in upfront costs, it actually decreases the overall life cycle costs of the building. Several rain gardens capture and treat rainwater on site keeping it out of the sewers and out of the river. A bright white roof helps cool the building in the summer and cuts down on the urban heat island effect. All this and more goes into Green Building. Chris Leaf of the White Group explains. Green Building is the practice of trying to build a building that's going to be uh, fit in well in its environment and uh, cause as little harm or impact on the environment as possible. I mean, the ultimate in Green Building is obviously not building a building, but once you've uh, decided you need to build a building, it's trying to choose materials and try to build the building so that it's going to be as energy efficient as possible and it's going to be a healthy place for people to, to uh, work in and uh, a pleasant place for people to work in. I think this project has been a, a fine example of a building that has uh, met a number of uh, different energy efficient criteria. It has uh, chosen materials that are very sustainable and, and recycled and uh, has a number of other features that I think the city has a lot to be proud of.